Hey, welcome back to the Shane Plays Let's Play series of Serpent in the Staglands. I think this is part 21, I'm pretty sure. I actually had to refresh myself. I kind of remembered where we ended last time, but it's been a little while. Um, and we're still in the Hallowed Grove fighting harvesters, basically. Just like last time. There's just a ton of harvesters in this dungeon or whatever it is that we're in. So I need to check the inventory and see how many um, oil spill traps we even have. We have 20. So that should be enough. And we have five over here in the quick slot. So it should be enough to fight some more. And basically what we're doing is, um, like I said, just pulling as, as few harvesters at a time as we can and trying to get them in the oil spill traps now last time I don't think I tried this tactic I'm going to try it this time to where I thought that said error for a second but it said Elric I'm going to try to drop a few of them around and see if we can't be kind of prepared for these guys I have a feeling I'd rather kind of bring them into here. So let's see how well that works. I, I didn't really try that last time. Now the the thing with that is though I can't save and uh, and then reload the game and the traps will be there. So I'll have to do that each time if I die. But let's see how well that works. I'm gonna send Catalina in, and I'm actually going to put some. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have Elric throwing some, um, oh, what is it, healing on Catalina. Go ahead and get that going. See if I can get some better tactics happening here. So let me see if I can get Catalina to pull one of these. Hopefully I won't pull both. Alright, just pulled one of them. So I'm going to move her here. Nope, everybody move back. This is the one bad thing. Everybody wants to suddenly move, and then that takes the healing off Catalina because Elric moved, and it also keeps. Okay, now you guys can attack. All right, now everybody move this way. Get on it. Come on, there it is. Get it. All right, so let's move everybody down. I think this is going to work better than what I've been doing. It's taken all five traps to get it, though. Get it. They've done a lot of damage to it. Come on, get it. Kill it. Dang, how many times are they going to have to hit this sucker? Um, all right, Elric. I need you to drop me a trap. And then everybody's going to move this way. I don't know if I can get a harvester to hit that. It's, oh, they got it. All right, everybody on it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, so that took five traps to take the harvester out. Okay, so that was nice. All right, so the tactics, I guess, are slowly getting better. Catalina took just a little bit of damage. I'll throw a little healing on her, and I'm gonna bring Elric over, let him drop some traps. Last time I took five. I don't know what 
this time will take. All right, Catalina, go over and pull this thing. It's confused, I guess, because I was behind the wall. Now it sees me. Let's see. All right. Everybody stay back. Now well, let's let this thing hit the trap. Come on now. Okay, now everybody get on it. Let's get them on over there so they'll be in better position. Get on it. Get on it. A little tedious to kill harvesters, to be quite honest. Get it. Kill it. My friends just uh, texted me and told me that he has a cat. We never thought that would happen. Oh, look at this. We've got, um, for whatever reason, Rox is it Roxandra? She's the one that took the damage this time around. So Elric, let's do something about that. Everybody's healed up. I'm save scumming like like a madman. Yeah, a buddy of mine, he just texted and he's like, I have a cat. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I'll deny all knowledge of that if you repeat it. So, Welcome to the world of cats, my friend. I have three cats for some obscure reason. I hope they don't just keep unleashing, yeah, harvester after harvester after harvester. It's a bit, a bit tedious, actually. All right, I'm gonna head back this way. I don't want. I've already got one trap laid down here. I guess I don't want to. Is this thing coming? I think it's coming. Come here. Wow, it didn't hit. Didn't hit that thing. Huh. Did not hit my trap. Let's see if we can get it to hit the trap. And I thought I just dropped another trap, to be honest. Okay. So Elric, I'm actually going to put healing on you. I'm going to let you heal yourself because you're hurting. I'm trying to move just... I'm trying to move everybody but Elric. Ah, uh, it's staying on him. Dang it. Okay. Annoying. All right, everybody, move this way. Hopefully, Elric will survive. I hope this thing hits the trap. You're going this way, and you're laying another trap. All right. Now, Elric, heal yourself. Let everybody else kill this thing. And it's dead. Very nice. I didn't get any harvest skills out of that. Okay, everybody's healed up. I, I really hope just for tedious 
or the, to avoid tedium or whatever, that this is not just harvester after harvester after harvester. I mean, it, it, it's kind of interesting to fight a few, but I mean, this is like, oh my goodness, what is all this? I, I don't even know how many I fought now. How many trap? I, I think I can check for traps if I click on him and hit Woodwise and click on him again. I think he'll check for traps. Oh, how does that work? Uh, Woodwise. Where are you at, Wilhelm? There he goes. I think he's checking for traps now. I I I don't think I found any trapped chest or anything in the game so far, but I guess it never hurts to look. What did I just do? I have no idea. I hear that lit that. I wonder if I'm opening up areas. This makes me feel like I'm opening up more locations. It's one thing I like about this game is you you really don't know what you're doing. It's kind of like other role playing games that you've played before, but by no means exactly. It's its own thing. And you never, you know, a lot of the conventions that you're used to are either not here or just slightly different. And I kind of like that. It is a little frustrating at first, but it, you know, it's cool. It's kind of like, you know, when you used to play role-playing games for the first time, computer role, you're like, I, what is this? And you just, you didn't know everything that was possibly going to happen. Um, and that's refreshing. Oh, see, there's, okay. So there's a symbol there and a symbol there. See that symbol? So I'm just going to run like you back. In fact, let's do this. See if it'll go fat. There's a, I think Roxana, or Roxandra can morph us into bats. So I'm going to do that and see if we can fly over there real quick and see if these symbols match these doors on this. Yeah, okay. So I want to go here. Let's go. I don't know if it saves any time by the time you cast the spell, but I do know that they move. Well, they didn't, they didn't last as bats very long. That's weird. Okay, yeah, definitely symbols. There's different symbols here. And I think the door we were just looking at... Oh, look at that. So I can turn them back off. The door we were just looking at, I think, is this symbol here. Pretty sure. This door appears to be locked or blocked by an unseen force. Well, I thought I already... Huh. Okay, we're going to send just... We'll send Roxandra. She can turn into a wolf if she gets in trouble. So we're going to send you up here, dear. I feel there's a puzzle here. Maybe that's the only one that can be lit for it to open? here that looks like the same symbol that's lit so let's try it now still locked by an unseen force hmm that's weird what's what could possibly be maybe light It's 
still blocked. Okay, so when I... Okay, let me check this one more time. That definitely looks, there's like kind of a barely diagonal line and then kind of a slash in the upper left corner, which looks pretty much like this one. Woodwise on it. Let me try Woodwise again. Woodwise. Oh, so as soon as I hover over that door, my Woodwise goes away. I don't think there's anything else. Philosophy, Linguistics, Woodwise, Arbinger, Herbology. Hmm. tried all of them unlit and that didn't work right okay I'm gonna try just this one lit that's not it and I'm gonna try everything lit except the one that I want in, which I'm pretty sure is not the way to go, but just trying to isolate possibilities here. Okay, yeah, so none of those work. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave them all lit for now. And then, we're gonna have you go back over here, dear. join your posse actually let's just have everybody come back here I know there's some other um, caves around here so I assume there's more that we have to explore I don't know if I can recover that or not I don't think so Yeah, I don't, I don't, I guess I can't recover that. Maybe there's a way that I just don't, under, that I just don't know. Well, let's go back out. If you are poisoned, you might cure yourself with a potion or a spell. All right, so the, the loading times are definitely getting faster in recent patches. I suspected that earlier. I think I've mentioned that in a previous video, but even though I've been pausing while the loading's coming on uh, so that you don't have to sit through the whole thing, it, it's definitely getting faster. All right, so let's check out this cave. I hope it's nothing. I hope it's not just harvester after harvester after harvester. That, that, that would be, get a little tedious. B get a little tedious? That would be a little tedious. It is a splendid season of sorcery and spell weaving in Fall in Amnu 1235. We've seen this one before. I think, in fact, it's been a while since we've seen a new tooltip, so I'm going to stop reading them unless I see a new one. Alright, this one looks a little different. One, two, three, four, five, six. I was trying to see if that matched the amount of little flame things in the other cave, but um, it don't. I think there's more. There's five, six, seven, so I don't think there's a correlation. My mind's just trying to look for patterns right now. Yeah, what's this? It seems to have opened. 
open it up on its own. Come on, no more harvesters. A little, bit, little board fight. I, I may end up fighting something I wish that it was harvesters, but we'll see. Let me save the game. I don't know if I saved it a second ago. Native. And just one native. Let's pull just this guy. Come back down here. So we're fighting just him. Uh, looks like he's gonna just do the old bow and arrow on me. Okay, that's what you want. Um. I'm going to go way down here and see if he'll follow me. Curious how the AI will behave. Alright, evidently, he will not follow me. I'm going to see if I can get over here and fight him without getting into it with these other natives. I don't know if there's a possibility of doing that or not. Nope. There's another native. This could be bad. That's a lot of natives. And if they're all using bows, that could be very bad. Let's see. Maybe I think he's got a hatchet. Maybe. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can pull him down here. Yeah, this one will follow me down. That's much better for good old Shane. Alright, take this guy out. dead. Alright. Let's get some healing going. I'm running out of space. Um, I can pick up that crystallized dagger and that armor. I guess just to sell. Let's see what I can make happen here. That guy has a bow and arrow, I think. Or a whip? See if nope, he's got a whip or something. He's coming down, it looks like. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hello. Oh, everybody's not selected. Great. Come on. Down here. Range attacks. Bad. On us anyway. They're good for us, bad when they're on us. Let's see what I can make happen here. Okay, this guy's still moving. They're coming around. Let's see if they come popping down into into my area. Okay, I want to just attack with just my, who's my long, okay, she's ranged, attack, and he's ranged, attack. No, not you, stop, dang it. Sometimes controlling the AI is pretty frustrating in this game. So, let's go on party AI off. You attack, and you attack. And let's see if we can take this guy out with a bow. No, Wilhelm, dang it. Elric, oh, I thought Elric, okay. That's part of the problem. Wilhelm, come down here. Oh, this is getting frustrating. Come here. Okay, this is me messing up. <laughs> But let's let's pull everybody down and then let's fight this guy at least. That was me getting my characters messed up, but also the AI. Oh goodness, they're all coming down. This could be bad. 
This could be very bad. All right, let's turn party AI aggressive on. Okay, you are going to throw... Oh, I meant to hit. There we go. Where's the morph into Fiend? Where's, there's morph into Fiend. You're going to morph one of these guys with bows and arrows into theme, Fiends. You are going to turn yourself into a wolf. It's just too much, all these bows and arrows. Yep, too much. That's what I thought. Yeah, when all those guys with bows and arrows came down. Oh, I don't I didn't mean to load that. I need to load my quick save. Okay, so I got my quick save loaded here. Yeah, if I get all those guys with bows and arrows on us, that's that's just nasty. what I can make happen here I don't mind getting just one guy on me in fact Wilhelm you have a bow so you're gonna attack him and then Roxandra you have a bow so I'm gonna see if we can do some bow some uh no dang it see this is how I got myself into trouble last time turn off party AI I gotta remember to do that Everybody fall back. Now, you are on him, you're on him, and then everybody else, when he gets down here, will be on this guy. All right. No, not you. You stay on him. What spell can I throw? Crippling Ray. You're going to throw Crippling Ray. Alright, let's see how this works out. Okay, now you're going to bring everybody in because he ran off. So you guys come down here. Yeah, everybody down. This is bad. Everybody come down here. Is he like rooted or something? Yeah, he's rooted. All right, you're gonna eat a couple of things. Try to stay in the fight. Everybody, let's go to aggressive AI again and take out this native. Okay, I've still got bows and arrows coming in, so Trallon, you need to move out of here. They're trying to kill you. No, everybody, stop, come this way. We got problems. Okay. Uh, trying to manage the tactics here. It's just, oh, got to turn this off. Got to turn that off. So you're going to heal him and you're going to heal him. We're going to turn tactics off for a moment. And we're going to try to get some healing going. And then do I have any food that I can drag over there? Doesn't look like it. I guess I'll drag, drag a couple of healing potions over. Just going through my healing. Okay, everybody has healing. I'm going to try to do this without a lot of scapes, saves coming. Crystallized dagger plus two. What do we got here? Yeah, I've already got a bunch of that. Stop. Guys, come here.
couple more natives over here. Okay, I got one native on me. Now, without trying to get all crazy, you see if you can hit him. And you see if you can hit him. And then Trallon, let's see if you can throw a spell on him. Throw Crippling Ray on him. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, there's some more guys coming. What's gonna happen? Elric needs you to get healing on Trowin. Because it looks like there's another guy with a bow and arrow coming in. Yep. Mm-mm-mm. guys on trowling hard. I'm gonna get trowling out of the way. Oh, dang it. Too many guys with bows and arrows. This is terrible. This is not good. How do I, do I want to try to salvage this? What am I gonna do? Yeah, there's just too much. Every there, everybody's on Trowan. This guy's not really going down. Ah, oh, man. Uh, I keep trying to. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. What is going on? I'm trying to hit my direction. Oh, I see what I was doing. I was trying to do my directionals, and I was trying to use my WASD keys. Okay, everybody, flee. Flee. All right, I got just one guy coming. Trowling, you stay here. Everybody else, get on this guy. Okay, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Trowling, you need to throw healing on yourself. This guy is on trailing hard. Luckily, he got that hill spell off. Okay, got him. Little tense, but we pulled it off. Little tense, but we pulled it off. on the ground. Uh, we'll take those arrows plus one. Alright. Like I said, I'm trying not to save scum here. I've done that forever. Just, like, that's just the natural way things happen. And, uh, you know, and then lately everyone's like, oh, it's save scumming. So I guess, you know, let me give it a shot. Try to break my habits. I'm going to take this guy out. This was not his best career decision. Take this guy out. Come on. Get on him. He's on El Rick. Don't kill El Rick. Okay, that was a little close. Not, not super close, but a little close. Take those sheep of arrows. It's a little bit as we go. It's another guy with a bow and arrow. Oh, dang, look at all these natives. This is ridiculous. <laughs> ah! Run! <laughs> oh man, come on. Let's 
let's see if we can pull them down. There's, I don't know any way to fight these guys without a little bit at a time. I just, I don't see how to do it otherwise. All right, take this guy out. I'm sure there's some great tactics or whatever that I could be doing that I'm not. Um, Oh man, all right, everybody healed up. That is just a ton of natives. Okay, this guy's moving, so I guess he's coming down to me. See if I can see if he'll show up without me having to go up any further. Oh goodness, there's three of them. Three of them coming. Bows, bows, bows. This is not good. We are beating feet and see how many of them follow me. Two of them are still following. One of them, two of them are still following. Can I handle two? Oh, I don't know. Come on, guys. Okay, got one of them coming. Let's go a little further up. Let's see if he'll follow me a little bit further in. Will you follow it? Yep, you will. That was your that was your career mistake, pal. Come on, kill him before okay. Elric keeps taking damage. I don't know what the deal is. But uh, Elric. They keep picking on Elric. Okay, everybody's healed up. We're going to go jump on this other guy. Alright, everybody. Go get this guy. Get him, get him, get him! He's decided to go after Trallon. Trallon, we can't have you die, so come on out of the fight. Oh, is it dead already? Oh, wow, we killed him quick. Wilhelm is out of arrows. I gotta remember to put these guys back on some sort of aggressive AI. Um, right now I have it turned off. Wilhelm, where are you at? Okay. Uh, first of all, Roxana, you got 17 left. All right. Wilhelm, you got none left. Alright, no, those are bolts, not arrows. Pack of bolts, pack of bolts. Sheaf of arrows, sheaf of arrows. I'm trying not to use up my really nice arrows if I can avoid it, but. Alright. Yeah, she's just regular arrow. She's just regular arrows. Okay. Is that it? Just this guy? Nope. We're getting out of here. Because there's another guy over there. I don't know if he's a bow and arrow guy or not, so we're going to pull him down. Everybody's on Trallon. Alright, Trallon, you are going to go out here. Now where's the, did this guy follow me? 
Where's he at? Can you not follow me? There he is. Let's see if he's at this. Man, there's a ton of these guys. All right, so we are at 47 or 42, almost 42 minutes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. One, I'm pretty tired. Two, dinner's ready. Um, and three, I'm really trying not to go always an hour with these videos. I'm trying to land somewhere between 30 minutes and an hour. So I'm going to end it here. We'll take back up next time. Uh, continuing to clear the caves here in the Hallowed Grove. Um, thanks so much for watching the Shane Plays Let's Play series of Serpent in the Staglands. And uh, if you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up, a like on YouTube. Maybe leave a comment that helps me out tremendously. Thanks so much.